Hey everyone, so in this video I want to cover uh, an easy easy way to integrate ChatGPT style Q&A into your own WordPress website. Uh, I've done a bunch of videos where I show you how to integrate assistance and custom GPTs uh, and how so more complicated more coding this one really doesn't involve any coding at all this is really specifically just kind of using a tool uh, to do this or a plugin uh, is the terminology for WordPress all right so my travel site is what we're going to demonstrate here I've just kind of created and chose one of the existing themes and it's just a travel look and feel to it so I'm going to put a little chatbot down here and that will integrate back to chat GPT Real quick on that before we go any further is that this is not gonna be something you can do just using the free version of ChatGPT. You will need an API key. So you will need to sign up for your OpenAI account and provide uh, at least a budget uh, for being able to use this service. So this is using the API and there's a cost that goes with it. So it's not the free version. Um, having said that, you can choose a very inexpensive model which I'll show you how to do. Uh, and, the, the, and a lot of times these these specific requests that you're going to be making through the website will be fractions of a penny. Uh, they're very very inexpensive uh, to to use. Uh, if you if you want to, you can get a more a more reliable model that gives you a better response using a more expensive model. And that's that's kind of your choice if you want to do that. But we'll keep it simple. But you definitely will need to have an API key. All right. So what we're gonna do here to get started is we're gonna come back to our WordPress site. We're gonna come down to plugins. We're gonna add a new plugin and come up here and type in AI engine. That is the plugin we're looking for. And here it is. It's by a person named Jordi Meow. This particular person does have kind of like a cat theme going on and offers a lot of different tools or, or plugins. Uh, this one specifically is the one we're talking about, but there's much, much more that he offers uh, so definitely want to check it out if you're interested. All right, so go ahead and install that, activate it, and once it's activated, you'll see the Meow apps here. We're going to pick the AI engine, all right? And this is the dashboard that lets you configure your chatbot and other things that you can do if you want to go with the pay version. So you can hook this into assistance or you can add embeddings. So if you want to use your own search retrieval embeddings, some of the things you can do through the custom GPT screens, you can kind of simulate and do the, actually the same way through there, through this tool, So which is kind of cool. But I'm using a free version. I just kind of want to show you how to quickly get this going. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to chatbots and we're going to click on the chatbot and uh, so I already had done this before, so my particular prompt is in here. So I'm I've going to customize the prompt that we want this chatbot to use as its rules for how it's going to behave. For specifically, I'm going to only focus on Banff National Park. All right, so that's the only thing that this chatbot is going to be able to answer. I put some rules in here if uh, telling it that don't answer any other questions that are not related to Banff National Park. Again, you're going to want to do similar things. You'll want to play around with the specific, specific prompts that you're going to use to get it to work correctly for your particular, particular use case. All right, so I don't want to ask questions about anything other than BAMF. All right, so I want to kind of keep it, keep it that way. And that's kind of how you do that is by providing that context to your prompt. Okay, so you would have to set that up based on your, your use case. You're also going to want to set the model. Okay, so I have chosen the 3.5 turbo model, which is really inexpensive, fractions of a penny uh, to make these requests. Uh, if you want a more reliable model that's newer, you can obviously choose one like GPT-4 turbo, and but there'll be a slightly more enhanced uh, cost for doing that, right? Your call on that one, but to keep it simple, I'm gonna keep this one at that version. You can set other things like the max tokens, and temperature and other things that help control your cost and help control how your API uh, responds, right? So for example, temperature, uh, it can be anywhere from zero to one. A lower temperature means it's gonna not be as creative. If you wanna be really creative, you bump this up higher to a higher number and the GPT engine is going to give you back a, a more creative response. So you can kind of play around with this temperature uh, to help you decide how flexible do you want these responses to be that it's going to come back with. All right. And there's a lot of other things. Appearance. You can set the appearance. Uh, you can have it look like iOS like I have here, or I can use the, the GPT version of it. I kind of like the, the iOS version. So this is the look and feel that you're going to see with it. And then you can, you can set up different rules for how you want to start the sentence and the conversation and what forth. 
All right. Uh, only other thing you have to do is go over settings and here's where you're going to put your API key. Go ahead and plug that in there. You're going to paste that in from the website. And once you have that, the only remaining thing you have to do is you need to decide, make sure you choose that you want this to be a site-wide chatbot and you can choose default. You can have many different versions of the chatbot through this tool. So I'm choosing the default one, which is what I have here, but you can have different settings for different pages so that when a person is on one page, they can have one set of prompts. When a person is on a different page, you can set this up to have it be uh, page by page basis or context, context sensitive to the page you're on. And you'll see that sometimes where the chatbot will say, hey, I recognize you're on the orders page. Do I have any questions about orders? How you would do that is by adding additional settings here and then you can choose that uh, on your page or put those short codes to put on your page. But I'm gonna keep it simple. And I'm just gonna say, I want this to be a site-wide chatbot. And I think I'm all good here. Let's go ahead over to my web page, And let's go ahead and refresh. And there is my prompt or my chatbot. So I'm gonna click on that. And there it is. I'm gonna, it's asking me how it can help you. And I'm gonna ask it, what is, what can I do in BAM in the summer. I like outdoors or I like to hike. We'll do that one. All right, let's see it comes back. Now, based on the prompting that I gave it, it's asking me for more information. It's asking me about things about, hey, how many people are going with the ages of your children? That is controlling how this thing is going to respond. I didn't want it to just respond back with, you can, here's all the things you can do. I kind of wanted to treat it as though this were a real person back there trying to get gather more information about the, the, the family or the, or the, or the couple, whoever is or traveling so that you can kind of really kind of simulate more of this conversation back. So it's telling me the age range of the children. Uh, I'll say, um, we'll say 10 years or we'll say 10, 10 years. Let's see what it comes back with. And it's actually fairly quick. The 3.5 turbo model is very is fairly quick. Uh, and the response you get back is not bad, right? But obviously if you chose the 4.0 or GPT-4 model, it's gonna be a little slower, but you're gonna get back a more reliable answer. And sure enough, there you go. Great way to start 10 year old, you have plenty to do. And it's giving you some ideas. So there you have it. This is how you can quickly add that in there. You can take this any direction you want. If you wanna go and pay for the pro version, you can have access to your assistance and things like a treat retrievals and documents. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe. If you have suggestions and other videos you'd like to see me do, uh, please put those in the comments. I'd be happy to think about it. All right. Thanks for watching.